Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. So today in uh, the chapel, we... Oh, I'm sorry. Jesus is before all things, and in him all things hold together. Colossians 1.17. So, yeah. Trying to hold together. It's just been a, a trying time. Um, not really any one specific thing, just lots of little things. Um, I was apparently, you guys have noticed, you know, no sewing this week. Um, just one podcast. Uh, yeah, we'll get into that. Okay. So I'm going to cram it into one. Um, I finished 24 of the little chickens. Okay. So yeah, they're really cute. I like them. I made 24. I made some pink ones. Oh, pink one doesn't even have her tail. I guess I got to go back and check the tails because I forgot the tail. Okay, they're not all done because they're supposed to have a tail. So, all right. I will. I thought I had all the tails done. Apparently, I missed some. See, there's a pink one with the tail done. Yeah. But anyway, they've got the little googly eyes and. So I will have to go back. Voila. I don't know what I was doing, but I will get the tails done and then they'll be done. Um, then I also worked on five of these. Um, this one is mine. I said, and then I have Macy's and her mom's and Shelby and Grace. So, um, these are, I think, for Easter. I'm going to try and get them to them for Easter. But this is the um, cat pillow yarn. And there literally was just the little black ball and a little pink ball. I made me some just because I got to feeling it. And I really like the yarn. It's soft, fuzzy. So... Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to go buy cheap insoles to put in them, um, but, uh, I'll look this back in and see. So I finished those, finished those, and then, and this is, um, the crochet stuff. Uh, then I started this little spring wrap around, um, yeah, it's just this little thing right here is this. And this is one of those shawl in a balls. And it's got a little glitter to it. And yeah. So it's all acrylic. But I just started on it's mindless. Um, two rows of half crochets or half double crochets. And then I did like the chain or chain two double crochet chain two just fillet crochet style give it some open airy i'm trying to make it for spring so, or summer whichever you want to say but um anyway so let's see a lot going on but got nothing done if that makes sense uh the uh, i'm sorry I had my eye appointment. I had some stuff going on at work. I got my review at work today. Um, just lots of little things. Uh, roommate had an abscess tooth that we've been dealing with. Just made roommate a bear. But anyway, um, just feeling blah. And I don't know. I think a lot of it is work. Um, there's some things going on there that are just toxic, if that makes sense. So each day I get through work and I try not to get into the toxicity of it. And yeah, by the time I get home, I'm just exhausted. Uh, this weekend, I spent one whole day doing 
RJ shirts and mending and sewing buttons on and ironing the good clothes. And yeah, so that took me all day. Like I laundered everything. He brings me, he's got one pair of good jeans. And then he's got a couple of good shirts that he does. Um, he tries to keep them nice and he doesn't wear them except for weddings and funerals and that kind of stuff. But every time he wears them, he puts them on a hanger and he brings them to me because if there's any stains, our day doesn't take the time to wander like mom wandered. And those stains will set. So, um, got his clothes all cleaned up, ironed, heavy starch. The starch, by the way, helps repel um keeps things from setting so much so. yeah so i did that and then i honestly didn't really i mean i did that but i had a lamp back in that box back there my lamp that was up there on the um, fireplace where i normally record which i'm short cutting today because i was late getting out of bed and i still got to go to work and it's already late in the week and yeah anyway so uh, it had a switch thing, and roommate and I tore it apart, and thought we could get the pieces. We went and got a switch that looked like it, and thought it said it was, and yeah, it's the wrong one. But I didn't want to put it all back together with it still not working, and so, yeah. You'd walk across the floor, and it would just flicker. <laughs> You'd think that you have it off and it wasn't. So it it's just old. But we're looking for the right switch now because apparently I bought the wrong one. It said it was like a three-way blah, blah, blah. I don't know. So anyway, um, yeah, did that. And that took a lot more time to figure out how to get the thing apart and then to figure out the part would fit. And yeah, so... Um, did that, just kind of puttered for the weekend, no goals in mind, um, just, just slow. I, I need some sunshine, guys. I know that sounds terrible, but the last couple of days, it's been sunny, and I've been doing better, but I'm to a point where work is exhausting me so much to deal with those people, that, and I'm talking about the people that work there. Okay, some of them can be exhausting. They can make an erupting volcano out of an anthill. Um, some of them are very dramatic. and I'm, They have good hearts. It's just, yeah. Anyway, so I get home in the evening, and there is still some daylight, but not enough. And like last night, by the time I ate dinner and went down and, and fed the duck and got back up here, there was hardly any daylight left. And so, yeah, it is what it is. But anyway, I digress. Where I was. Um, so, yes, I've been just needing a little sunshine. But just taking the other morning I got up and I was going to podcast. I just laid in bed and watched TV. I didn't jump up and make the bed. I didn't um, do a whole lot. I was like, I'm going to sit here and watch this. So I had my coffee and I had my uh, dog. Worm was at the foot of the bed. And I sat there for like an hour and a half. And then I had to get up and get ready for work. So, <laughs> But no, I just need sunshine. I need some time to be in the sun, to have it on my face, to mow the yard, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, and then last night, it was crazy. This truck comes driving by, and it's tired, near, like, literally flies off, goes bouncing, rolls through, it flies through the fence, ends up in the pond with the duck, Okay. And it was crazy. The guy comes around, hey, do you mind if I get my tire out of your pond? He's like, no, I would kind of like you to get the tire out of the pond. 
So he goes out there and gets it, and he's rolling it back down to his truck. Ended up calling a wrecker for that. Yeah, it was some kind of sod truck or something. Lesson learned, make sure that your tires are bolted on your vehicle. And properly secured. <laughs> anyway, so that happened. Um, RJ's just been working. Uh, lots of little things, you know, just but nothing major. So, yeah. Um, RJ did sell the big trailer. When we first got it, he used it a ton. And then with gas prices being what they are and all that kind of stuff, it just has been sitting. And instead of letting it go to waste, got it sold and out of there. And um, I still had a little bit of a note on it. it. It in my car had a little bit of a note on it. So paid the trailer off. Now I just have my little car note. So, which is good. It's good. Um, but, yeah. It, things are going good. I'm just blah, and I need sunshine. That That's all there is to it. Um, again, this is the time of the year that we would have been birthing babies, and it still takes its toll on me a little bit. Um, so, yeah. Makes me want to go to the sale barn and buy me a little baby. And <laughs> no. Yeah. RJ to kill me. So, especially since I'm not there to take care of it. So, um, yeah, I've been thinking a lot on the tiny house and how I'm going to get it finished. It is the last thing that I need to get done for my retirement. Um, I have everything else set. I've got all my finances in order. Um, I need to get the tiny house done so that I know where I'm going to reside should anything happen to me. This is convenient right now, but um, if this is roommate's like family house, so if anything happens to roommate, roommate's mom owns this house. So I don't know if I'd have to find another roommate or if she'd let us continue to live here or if, you know what I mean? I don't know. So, instead of having the I don't knows, I want to get the tiny house done and know exactly what would happen if, you know, or, or at least have that option to take care of it. So. Anyway, all right. Guys, I'm going to get off here. There really isn't. I spent the weekend mending. I didn't do anything. That is still stacked. You know, I started to, and then I just piled it back up there and so, yeah, my eyes, I got different contacts last week. So, I had my eye appointment. <laughs> Just trying to think of all the little things, you know. But anyway, you get the point. Some weeks, there just isn't a whole lot of time to do what we want to do. So, um, like I said, I spent hours putting little combs on things and little peaks on things and uh, mending RJ's laundry and his good clothes and getting buttons on things and fixing little rips in his work shirt to make them last a little longer and that kind of stuff. But anyway, all right, I'm off of here. It is Thursday, so don't expect another podcast for the rest of the week. Um, but yeah, next week, so far I have like two entries on that giveaway. So, uh, one of those two will be receiving it if I don't get any more entries in the next day or so. So, go back to the one that says giveaway, not the original giveaway one, the second giveaway one, which was just a few weeks ago or a few videos ago. And yeah, go from there. Um, get entered in that if you're interested. All right. Thanks for watching. You have a great week, and I will see you next time. Bye.